Hello, I'm Scott Haley, and welcome to another edition of Wetland Conservation Compliance Decoded. I'm a resource oil scientist for the Natural Resources Conservation Service. I cover 22 counties in northeast Indiana, providing technical soil services and doing wetland determinations. I'm going to talk to you today about hydric soils as part of the wetland compliance. Um, if you want a full definition of what hydric soils are, you can pick your favorite search engine and query web soil survey and you can get a full definition. I'm going to talk a little bit in generalities. Basically what we do is use uh, uh, field indicators of hydric soils in the United States. There's many different indicators of hydric soils, but the things you're looking for are where the gray collars are at and if they start directly underneath the surface. That's probably the main indication in northern Indiana. Gray collars is where the iron's reduced and has been moved away leaving the gray colors behind it and if you refer to the picture you'll see that that's basically the indicator that this uh, whole area has. It has a dark surface with gray right underneath it where the water table's at and that would fit indicator A11 in this book. So when you look across the landscape and you look throughout this area that's the main indicator. Obviously you can see the water um, the water saturates the soil, reduces the iron, it's moved away and you have the gray color. So anytime uh, you're in the low part of a landscape. Um, a lot of times with a dark surface, you're, you're probably going to have a hydric soil. But that, again, that's just one indicator of a wetland. For conservation compliance, it basically has to have all three indicators, hydrology, wetland plants, and hydric soils. If it doesn't have one of them, then it's not a wetland. It has to have all three. So again, there's many different ways to get a hydric soil. Um, we have all different kinds of indicators. You can look for a full definition of hydric soil on uh, the web soil survey and tune in to more episodes of wetland conservation compliance decoded. Thank you.